busy calendar this week, so I just want to talk about the calendar. Um, Tuesday is where things start uh, picking up. Uh, we've got some stuff in the UK and Australia, but really Wednesday is the day that we're you know we're going to be focusing on. Uh, we've got lots of stuff coming from the UK, Canada, and of course America, the United States, with the FOMC interest rate decision and the press conference. So it's going to be very volatile on Wednesday. Uh, New Zealand is where we've got GDP. Thursday we've got um, ECB interest rate decision and BOE. Uh, so that's going to be uh, that could be dollar positive. It's going to be quite tricky to say this could be dollar negative and then this could be dollar positive. So you could see like a whipsaw action on, on the Dixie. Um, I want to talk about the dollar positioning from the non-coms. This is what the video is about. We've got the BOJ interest rate decision as well. So it's a crazy, crazy week. Um, it's going to be a good one just to um, position yourself accordingly. Don't uh, use uh, like not necessarily large sizes. Just keep within your risk parameters and you should be fine. It's going to be a very bonkers week. So, uh, And this is the last uh, meaningful week uh, for the cut data. So next week I won't do it because obviously uh, we're in holiday period. So the you know, cut data is going to be delayed anyway. And um, so this week it's going to be very busy. Next week it's going to be very quiet. And we're going to have very, uh, thin holiday volumes. So you, know, you don't necessarily want to trade uh, if you can, if you can uh, help it. And then next week we'll be going to uh, normal, normal parameters. So uh, this is going to be the last week where we have like any meaningful data, and this is why I want to do the cut data report the last time for this year. And so that's that. So the next next week I won't do any updates, any bulletins because we're in like holiday period, so it's not really that meaningful. And then we can resume service on the twenty seventh. So cut data. I spotted something interesting. I think we might have a little bit of a risk off scenario brewing. And I'll tell you why I think this could be. Um, but first of all, the euro and the dollar. So at the moment, the dollar is quite uh, firm. It's quite uh, steady. The euro is ticking up, but we've still yet to crack that high. We didn't really break that low. We did a little bit, but we know we've just bounced anyway. So talk about the risk off so if we were to go to um, add Australian dollar and yen I'll show you what I mean take these guys off right, we have in a uh, very interesting development on the non-com positioning where they are buying the yen against the Australian dollar and we know that this is a very uh, very strong risk proxy this tells us risk appetite in a currency pair format so uh, if they are buying the yen and selling the, dollar, uh, the Australian dollar, it, it could tell us a little bit of risk off scenario. So I think what's going to happen with the dollar, the US dollar, is this. Um, we'll go back to there again. Let's add, let's add these guys too. Um, and we'll do Kiwi too. All right. So uh, what I think the US dollar is just waiting and seeing potentially uh, to see if we are going to go risk off which this is telling us that we could be so when uh, the yen strengthens which it looks like it might we're going to have uh, yen strengthen against you know the riskier currencies so the riskier currencies is the pound uh, the euro uh, the kiwi and the aussie if we get this yellow line to cross up we're going to have a stronger yen across the you know across its peers and then the dollar will take heed of this and it will rise as well so we'll have the safe havens they'll go up in tandem and the risk of currencies will fall and this is possibly giving us an indication of something that's going to happen next couple of weeks all right so this is what this is like saying wait and see and it's going to see what's going to happen at the end so this is a risk off scenario that crosses the pound then that's going to be a risk off scenario for the pound and then you know, likewise, once it crosses all of these, then they're going to suffer against the yen. So we are quite toppy on S&P. And I shared something on the Telegram about the breadth and the NASDAQ 100. Basically, Apple and Amazon um, are, are holding up the whole sector. And we're talking like two, three companies. And I think they were saying you know, the majority, the vast majority of the other companies are below the 200-day moving average. It's just the, the giants holding up everything. So if they start to crumble, 
then you know we're going to have some heavy tech selling off so you know we want to be careful with crypto as well um, so maybe we're going to have some risk off scenario brewing this could give us an indication potentially but we'll have to wait and see and i think the dollar is going to play wait and see and it's going to keep an eye on this yen and you know if that yen crosses down then the dollar could also join it as well so uh it's going to be a quite a busy week it's a lot of potential to make lots of money but also likewise there's a lot of potential to lose money as well so you do want to trade carefully know your exits at all times don't trade necessarily uh, too large because these are big events where they're going to just take people stops all over the shop so hopefully it helps and remember next week it's going to be very quiet uh, not next week but the week after we're going to be in holiday volume so I probably won't be doing my updates then unless you really want me to but it will be a bit meaningless and then we can resume service on the 27th so hopefully it helps uh, it's been a very very crazy week and hopefully you make lots of money just trade carefully or maybe just look at the bubbles quickly um, so the dollar is in the strong we're below 50 percent yen is also there as well so the two safe havens are here the Australian dollar is down there as well so that's a bit out of bonk uh, you know so really the safe room is down here we could be going risk off and these are the riskier currencies up here which are sell so it's just the Australian dollar is a little bit out of, out of sorts if that goes up over here and it joins these then that could give us a big indication of what I think is going to happen if we look at the clock data alright so let's wait and see and hope have a good weekend and I'll speak to you soon